Welcome back to the channel, Racer X here. And in today's video, we will be tackling vehicle theft. Now, in the past, I know I have done vehicle theft videos talking all about how bad the problem is, especially if you own a Mopar. I've talked at length about some of my friends having their cars stolen. I mean, really, the problem has gotten worse and worse to the point where it is basically as bad as it has ever been, if not the worst it has ever been. And a lot of people are very concerned about protecting their cars from thieves. We know that uh, they're just not producing as many right now. Uh, prices have skyrocketed, dealership markup has gone crazy. I mean, it's a weird world we live in now. And now we've got all these organized crime rings out there stealing cars basically like crazy. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about actually how we can prevent our precious cars from being stolen by these thieves. I wanna give you just a few suggestions. So many of you have asked, hey, you talked all about how bad the problem is, so what do we do about it? Well, today I will tell you, if you are brand new to my channel, please do me a big gigantic favor, hit subscribe. You can find that right over here in the corner. And off we go. So for the purposes of this particular video, I feel like it might be more appropriate to use a Mopar instead of my Mustang here. Um, fortunately, I don't own a Mopar right now, although that may change here in the very near future. Um, I need to find somebody that actually has a Mopar that I can use, and uh, I have an idea. And just like that, I have found a Mopar. Yes, it is a bright pink Mopar. Obviously not mine. That belongs to Barbie.Mopar on Instagram. She was nice enough to lend me her car for the purposes of this video. You guys have seen her on my channel before. Uh, big Mopar supporter. And uh, I'm looking forward to showing you guys maybe a few things that might keep your uh, cars from getting stolen. Now, the first thing that I want to mention is Dodge's security update. And if you don't already have the update on your car and you're eligible for it, I would highly recommend it. There's only specific model years and makes, so you kind of have to call your dealership to find out if your individual car is uh, is eligible for the update. But I, uh, I would say three different things that this update does that are all worthwhile. Uh, the enhanced security mode, it's a four digit pin that you put in. And uh, basically it restricts your car's horsepower to like three horsepower. The car basically goes nowhere without that four digit code it's a lot like valet mode was but even more restrictive it also has the uh, the key programming uh, lockdown basically your key fob um, if one of these repeater boxes gets your signal these guys can walk right up to your car start it and drive off and that's what we see happening over and over again it basically uh, defeats that ability and uh, it's definitely worth doing there are some other ways to do it which we'll talk about but i would highly recommend that uh, the only drawback to it is your key is literally locked down so if you ever lose it or need a new when it could be a bit problematic. And then there are also some uh, enhanced GPS uh, modes on there to kind of help track your car down in the event that it was stolen. So definitely get the update from Dodge if you haven't already. So I don't really understand exactly why the theft is so bad on the Mopars. I've got, you know, my ideas about it, but I mean, the truth of the matter is it's really, really bad. Matter of fact, in some cities, owning a Mopar isn't even safe, especially if it's like one of your higher end trims, a scat pack like this one, uh, or even a Hellcat. I mean, these things are so sought after by thieves that they resort to almost any measure to get these cars away from people. I've seen where they'll put them in neutral um, and then they'll roll them out to like a tow truck or something like that it'll pick them up that way i've also seen where they'll you know they'll pull the sunroof out of cars get in here uh do their magic and get in it that way they'll hotwire them i've seen that i've also seen where people will just literally come up hold you at gunpoint make you get out drive your car off that actually happens a lot on the hellcats believe it or not um in addition to that you've got people just literally breaking garage doors down so your car's not even safe in the garage that's how bad the thieves want to get a hold of these cars and yes the supply issue it's still out there but for some odd reason the mopars have become kind of the thieves choice in terms of the car that they really 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 want and we have to start taking initial steps as owners of these beautiful wonderful muscle cars to kind of keep them safe so where do we go from here now in this video, I actually wanted to show you a couple of different products that might uh, benefit you. And one of which uh, is this. This is actually a little plate that installs over your neutral pull in your car to keep thieves from getting in it pulling up on that neutral uh, bar, so to speak, and then just rolling your car off. Let me show you. Now, for those of you that are unaware, to put your car into neutral manually, all you do is pull up on this, same with the charger, and then you've got 
this joker right in here. And all you do is pull up on that little red tab right there. It takes a little bit of force, but if you pull up on it and hold it, it will effectively put your car into neutral and then your car can be rolled away. And we're seeing this a lot. So a couple of really innovative people have come up with products like this. These are simply plates that go in. You can see the uh, installation hardware here and they go in right over the top of this to keep thieves from getting in there, pulling up on that neutral uh, thing right there and then rolling your car away. So this is just one thing that you can do to keep your car safe, and I would definitely recommend it. Now, another really cool product that I feel like could help a lot of people out there is this one. This is from a company called CarLock, and it is a subscription-based GPS tracker, but it does way more than just track your car. If you're looking for peace of mind, this thing could actually make a big difference. Let me show you how this works. Now, this is basically what we're talking about here. This device plugs directly into your car's OBD port, and you do, of course, get your instructions and your start guide. You get an activation code, all that kind of stuff. Now, there's an app that you have to download to get this thing to work. So once you download the app, you put in your uh, individual activation code there, you plug this into the OBD port, and then, of course, you go for a short drive to get it calibrated. Now, as you can see, once it's installed in the OBD port itself, it does not stick out very far it's actually quite hard to see it's pretty well hidden so uh i'm gonna take it down the road so it's plugged into the obd port it's currently calibrating on the phone and in less than five minutes everything should be real time pretty cool all right i've just returned back after five minutes and it is calibrated so now let's see uh what the functionality is like on this now, I know what some of you are probably thinking, and it's the same thing I was thinking when I received the product. It's what's to keep a thief from just grabbing it and throwing it out the window. Well, when you actually unplug the device like that, and uh, it sends a really loud alarm uh, on your phone, all that kind of stuff to tell you that it's been disconnected. So yes, they could potentially just take it out and throw it out the window, but you will get a really loud notification on your phone. Um, and then, of course, there are other options as well. They have a splitter that you can actually run and hide the device even more so it's even more hidden or you can connect it directly to your battery which on these Mopars is in the back so somebody had to get in the trunk actually physically look at the battery first and then uh and, and then actually rip it out that way so there's a couple of different things you could do to keep this device secure and uh and keep it you know connected so if I reach down and unplug this from the OBD port you're going to get an alarm that sounds a little bit <laughs> Wait for it. Yep, it's pretty obnoxious. <laughs> Now, suppose you've got a teenager, you're letting them borrow the car. Well, this particular device, it does trip logs, which is pretty cool. So everywhere your car has been, uh, this device actually knows, assuming it's not been completely unplugged or disabled somehow. And in addition to that, it keeps track of your battery charge. So uh, if you're somebody like her, that's got all sorts of lights in the ceiling and she's got lights underneath it and she's got all sorts of other aesthetic things that might cause a draw on the battery, she can monitor it through her car lock app, which is pretty cool. Now, there are a couple of key notifications that this product will give you that can be super handy. For example, when you start your engine, it does give you a, a notification that the engine has been started. And then as you take it down the road, just a little ways, it doesn't have to go very far. You can actually adjust the circle uh, on the app itself. But uh, once it gets far enough away from wherever it was, it also gives you a notification. I'm actually gonna take it down the road and demonstrate that. So once you leave that little circle, it will automatically send you a notification that the vehicle has left. So peace of mind. The car lock device also features vibration detection. So that means if, uh, if it senses just the least amount of vibration, I'm gonna reach under here just really quick. I'm gonna just tamper with it just a little bit, just barely, right? And then we get some sort of a notification like this. So there you go. Vibration detection. Now, if you want one of these car lock devices for yourself, I actually was able to secure a discount code from these guys uh, for these. You can use Racer X CL10 uh, as your uh, discount code, and they will hook you up with a discount. And also on the subscription piece of it, use the same thing, Racer X CL10, and they will give you money off of your subscription as well. So I'm glad that they could do that for us. Just another thing to keep your car safe. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, one of the ways that so many thieves are taking these cars is they have these uh, these boxes, right? These repeater boxes that can detect your RFID from your key fob, even if it's inside the house. That's the way these modern cars are made. 
Well, these thieves have figured it out and they simply put the box on the car, it unlocks the door and automatically starts your car. It's absolutely ridiculous how efficient it is. And uh, really the only way to combat something like that is like I said, Dodge has that update to kind of lock your key or you can put your key in uh, one of these pouches that block the RFID signal. They've got both uh, boxes and they have pouches that you can buy for relatively little money on places like Amazon that actually block that signal and uh, and keep it from coming outside of the house. You do have to get in the habit of putting your key in it, obviously, but uh, it does kind of deter thieves. If they can't get the signal, it's harder for them to steal the car. Now, the other thing I will mention is a lot of the old school deterrents, they still work. Things that a lot of people don't even think about anymore, right? Things like the club, like steering wheel locks. I mean, they are a deterrent. Thieves, they want to take your car as quickly as possible to avoid any sort of confrontation with either an owner or law enforcement. So they try to be really quick and really efficient when they take these vehicles. It's always been that way. And if you can uh, do some things to kind of deter them, like I said, put a steering wheel lock in there, put a pedal lock on there. Um, there are lots of different just physical things you can put on your car. Yes, it's an extra step. I know it's a pain, but at least it gives you a little peace of mind that you're doing what you can to kind of deter these thieves. I mean, these guys are unbelievably determined sometimes. Like I said, you might pull up to a stoplight and somebody could come up to the window with a firearm and tell you to get out, in which case always should, but because uh, it's just a car at the end of the day. But hey, you know what? We love our cars, so do everything we can to protect them. And uh, hopefully these just few suggestions will help some people out there. So that is about it. I just wanted to give you a couple of easy suggestions to try and keep your high-end Mopars safe. This uh, problem, it doesn't just affect Mopars. There are lots of cars that are targeted out there. Uh, matter of fact, if you guys want one of those car lock devices, I put the links down below. My discount code is there as well. So definitely give those guys a quick look. Uh, but lots of other things you can buy for your cars as well to try and make thieves just take a couple of extra steps. And it might just be enough to kind of keep your car, keep them from taking it. So Certainly, if you have a garage, make sure you put it in the garage. But guys, you just have to do extra right now to keep your car safe because they are extremely determined to take it. I just, I hate where we are as a car community right now when it comes to theft, but it is what it is. So anyway, guys, uh, let me know if you have other suggestions on how to keep your uh, car safe. I would love to hear it in the comments down below and I will catch you on the next one. So until then, RacerX.